I'm Johnny Lee. Um, I'm a radiotherapy physicist at Clatterbridge Cancer Centre. In the same way as a pharmacist's job is to make sure that the patient receives the right amount of a drug, our job is to make sure that the patient receives the right amount of radiation. So having done the work experience and really thought this is something I can see myself doing, there's a good mix of routine work and project work. Not every day is a Eureka day, but um, I think one of the things about medical physics is that you get to use your science and academic skills in order to benefit patients. There are elements of it where you've had a good day and you've got a good result at the end of it and that means that someone's cancer is either cured or that they're in less pain than they were at the beginning of the day and you can kind of take that home with you as a solid result. My name is Hannah Dalton and I'm 25 years old. I'm training to be a clinical scientist in the NHS. I'm currently in my part two of training and for this I've been seconded to Designability, the Bath Institute of Medical Engineering. When I was in school I didn't know what I wanted to do and I was really good at maths and I really loved resistant materials and I really loved biology and I did want to do medicine but it wasn't quite the right route for me and my chemistry teacher suggested to me what about medical engineering? The NHS training scheme it is a challenging scheme but it's meant to be challenging and the training is so diverse it gives you lots of opportunities to experience so many different things. The highlight of my training so far is when you're with the patients and you are handing over the device that you've designed and manufactured and how happy they are with what you've given them and how actually it's going to improve their life so much. It's so pleasing when you walk away from somewhere when you know you've made that difference. My name is Razam Ali Azizi and I'm a medical engineer. Right at the back of your eye you have got what we call retina and you're looking at the health of that section of the eye by putting an electrode, dropping an electrode onto the surface of the eye, flash some light at, at front of the patient on a monitor or screen. So that's, that's actually part of my PhD. As part of it, I need to, to come up with new methods of doing the same routine clinical uh, tests that we are doing at the moment. You've got to have impact. If you're working in NHS, you've got to have patient impact. It's a wide area and it's very stimulating and it's very challenging because it's, you're not on your own. You are in a work environment, working with others. You constantly have things to do and you have got patients, you've got clinics, you've got research, you've got the whole bunch. My name is Kirsty Lee and I work in nuclear medicine as a clinical technologist. It involves seeing a patient on a day-to-day -day basis and conducting a diagnostic test on them. So that can involve things like the arriving for a bone scan or maybe a heart scan um, and then having a radioactive administration in order for us to take the pictures. We've, we've got both areas to work in, both the science part and also the patient side. So I did uh, A-level, a lot of different A-levels and didn't really know what I wanted to do at all and then applied to, for a training scheme at my local hospital um, in nuclear medicine for, and I did that for four years. So we see lots of cancer patients to look for spread of cancer in various ways. We also see a lot of orthopaedic patients to do with maybe replacements, hips, knees, brain patients, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease. The list is endless really. Uh, you need to have good communication skills. Um, there is a lot of lack of understanding about radiation. So one of the main barriers to us being able to do our job is that patients don't understand that their test involves having radiation. We all get on very well as a team and we all really enjoy, there's a lot of work banter like anywhere else that you'll work. My name is Mark Strangeman, uh, I work at uh, Lecter Limited and my job title is a physics technician. At Lecter, the primary piece of equipment will be the linear accelerator which is a, a clinical um, treatment machine for treating cancer. During the Lecter apprenticeship scheme I was able to go into on a three monthly rotation all sorts of different departments. So I went to research and development um, for mechanical design, for electrical design. I went into product performance management, um, industrial engineering. So I'm not quite a physicist yet, but something that I'm working towards at the moment with a degree at the Open University. One of the proudest achievements I've got since I've been here at Electa is having quite so much involvement with the Agility MRC, which is our latest generation um, beam shaping product. Um, so that's now out in the field and it's a um, world leader in what it does. So it's really um, quite important to be a part of that. 
Um, so when we ship the machine to the hospital, um, it's very much that they're patients that they're treating, but it's really good to know that the product that we've invested time in and spent time manufacturing, designing and innovating with is making a difference to people's lives. It's not for everyone, but I've, I've yet to find anyone who started it and not enjoyed it. And it's a good career if you want to have a very clear patient focus, but with an added aspect of some science behind it as well. I'm so glad I chose sciences for my A-levels because it opened up so many doors when I was trying to choose the course I wanted to do at university. Whenever you see a happy patient or whenever you see that you are making a difference and you feel that you are making a difference, it's the best reward that anybody can have.